What's good, everybody? Welcome back. This is a special episode because I just got back from a trip to Colombia and it was a lot of fun and I highly recommend everybody goes and I am now behind in a lot of work. <laughs> so um, we're going to get back into it. This is going to be a lot of follow up calls and uh, buyer calls because I have a deal I need to sell and then I also am trying to uh, follow up with the leads that I was behind on. So I don't know how much cold calling is going to be in this video, but there might be some. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this call is going to be kind of weird. So a um, little backstory. So I was coming back from the airport literally last night. Um, and uh, this guy calls me and it was like an unknown phone number. And he goes, hey, Alec, we spoke in, in the past. Um, you were interested in buying my house. Uh, I had a wholesaler try to buy it from me and the wholesaler canceled the contract after wasting like a month of his time. Um, and then the other wholesaler also listed it on the MLS, which is kind of interesting. So they must have had some kind of agreement for that in the contract. So the other wholesaler listed on the MLS and tried to sell it and uh, it didn't sell. So he called me up and I guess he had my number or something and asking if I was interested and gave me some info on it. So we're gonna call him right now. I don't know his name. I should look up his name real quick. Yes. Hey, this is Alec. We spoke yesterday about your house in uh, Sunrise. Yes, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good, how are you? Hang on there. Um, okay, cool. So I did some due diligence on your property um, and I was just trying to put together maybe an offer or something to see if we were your buyers. Um, it looks like a nice place. Um, can you remind me how much you were looking to get if you did sell it? I need a minimum profit of, uh, I'm flexible anywhere from, I mean, hope is 490. That would be ideal, but I'm obviously flexible. If it has to go to like 475, 480, um, I'll manage something if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then how much of a mortgage balance did you have on this property? 236 and some change. I think 236. I can tell you right now. Hold on. It just. I know it's 236. Okay, so like ballpark, you were looking. I don't need the exact amount. So ballpark, you were looking to make around like 230 to 240 cash. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Um, because we're 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 running some numbers here. Um, you know, due to the market shifting. Um, which I'm sure you're aware of, but if not, <laughs> the market shifted a lot. We're, we're being a lot more conservative with our purchasing. So Correct, it, especially in, in HOA communities, which I think that this one was, if, if I'm no, correct. No, this is not an HOA community. It's not. Up. Okay, that's good then. No, but yeah, um, I've heard horror things about HOAs. Yeah, yeah, me too. It, HOAs ruin deals um, and, you know, it happened to us many times. So um, we're being a lot more conservative with our purchasing. So... Um, you know, when we do buy something, maybe a year ago, we were buying 80%, 90% of, you know, after repair value. Um, and now we're buying it closer to like 60, 70%, um, just because we're trying to make sure we have enough uh, of a, of a floor to, if the market does go down 20%, we still have equity in the purchase. If that Correct. makes sense. And would you be looking for like a, this as turning it into like a rental property? Like what would be the goal for you guys as well? Yeah, we would probably be looking at it at uh, the rental. We would explore um, how the Airbnb comps are here as well. Um, just due to its proximity to, you know, some, some things to do with sunrise. Mall, yeah. yeah. Um, so we would explore that as well um, because the mall and the, uh, I think the stadium were maybe just like two exits yeah, down on Sawgrass. As well. Yeah. Um, and I, I know Sawgrass really well. We have another property over there, um, about a little bit more east though. Um, but yeah, so I mean, we, we would explore that, see if it makes sense, but we would definitely be looking at it on like the rental side if we did purchase. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure if we can make 475 work, uh, just full transparency with you. Um, if you wanted to, we could do it, but it would have to be a little bit more creative. Um, what do you mean? Um, so what we could do is, you know, we could give you the price that you want. And um, what we would do is we would take over your existing mortgage. So we would get a, a company in that services the mortgage. So when you do apply for a new mortgage, um, you could show them that it's being serviced and it's being taken care of by a third party. So we would service the mortgage and then 
from there uh, on the four on the two forty or whatever it is, we would uh, you know give you a down payment on that, and then we would pay the remaining of that two forty as a monthly payment. Oh, so you're basically saying my profit will be a monthly payment. Um, and we would give you a down payment. So you see that we have skin in the game, including in our skin in the game would be any repairs and closing costs that we're going to be paying. Um, but we would give you a down payment. So you have enough money to purchase your next property and enough money to, you know, be comfortable with. And then from there, we would make a monthly payment to you. Uh, see the problem that would be difficult for my down payment is for that other property would be like 160, 170. Okay. So you would want to, you would want to walk away with around 160 then cash. No, I would want way more than that because that's just the 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 twenty percent. But my lender is asking for a little bit higher than that. That's why I wanted a total of two forty. Mm-hmm. So, um, if you look at my um, house that I'm about to purchase, the ending amount they need is two hundred twenty-two thousand. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, because... if if you were looking for two forty, and even if we were to take over the mortgage. That would two, be a lot difficult. Um, it would, what is the best number that you can run me, you would say? Um, I don't even want to say it because I feel like I'm going to insult you. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely don't. Like You seem like a really nice guy. Like I would feel bad even <laughs> telling you. Um, but it's I don't think it's going to be in your ballpark. Um, what personally I think your best option is going to be is I have a buddy. Um, we do a lot of in, we do a lot of work in Sunrise and Tamarack. I have a buddy and he's a realtor and he could list it on the market for you um, and maybe get you a quick close. But uh, he knows he knows this area really well. But I I don't think I'm going to be your buyer. Okay. Yeah, I know that uh, wasn't the answer you're, you're hoping for, but I, I just don't want to waste your time. I know somebody else wasted your no, time already. Really I like the honesty, to be, on, uh, to be honest with you, because I've just gone through this nasty wholesaler with lack of communication and just bring me over. Um, I wish I had contacted you maybe five months ago. Yeah, me too, but it's okay. Um, yeah. What, it um, what would be the offer anyway that you, I just wanted in the ballpark of my mind? Even I, 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 you can't hang up the phone on me if I give it to you. No, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I think, I think, I think if we bought this, we would have to be, you know, four hundred ballpark. Oh, okay, four hundred. Okay, yeah, no, that's very low. I yeah, it's a, it's way too low for you. Yeah, no, the thing is that I did have an interested buyer as well, but the wholesaler screwed it up um, because the guy came in twice. I should have gotten his realtor's contact information because he was really wanting to you know buy this property and it would have been for like 480 475 and that would have been you know very good for me as well what did what did you sell what did you have it under contract with with the other wholesaler uh for the wholesaler we had it contracted uh for 495 495 yeah Yeah. um i mean i were trying to sell it for 620 yeah, I saw that. I was looking at the MLS. Yeah, they're very moronic. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and that that's another issue. Um, is is they sent it out too high to begin with, and kind of ruined all interest in it. Um, to to start off, but yeah, I think it was listed for like I'm looking at now six thirty. They listed it for. Oh yeah, they're, they're com- and they didn't even take my permission for that, so I didn't even know when I had signed the contract. Like like I said, it's one of those things you learn <laughs> by experience. Yeah, I was a novice. Um, basically they promised me everything that, Hey, don't even worry about it. September 30th. I didn't even know they were going to list this on the MLS. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a lot the of shit. that told me, Hey, your house is listed for sale. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. And that's a month later that I even found out. Yeah. There's a lot of shady activity that happens, uh, sometimes. Um, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think your best bet is going to be listed on MLS. It's a beautiful home. Um, I think your ideal buyer is not going to be an investor, but somebody that's going to be purchasing it um, at a little bit of a discount, you know, because it needs a little bit of upgrading and that is okay upgrading it and then living in the house. I think that's going to be your buyer. So So I think, I think your best bet is going to be to list it on the MLS. Yeah, my only issue is that I have an interest rate lock on the property that I want to purchase for 3.5%, and I only have till November 8th, and then I can extend it for 30 days. So I'm just going to time crunch to get back. November 8th? Yeah. So if you list it, like I would say list it even tomorrow, 
Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna give your info to my my realtor. His name is Micah. He's really good. Um, he can move quick. Um, I give him all my. I I don't. I'm not personally a realtor. Um, and I give him all listings that I do everything just because he's really really good. So I'm gonna what set. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you, <laughs> I don't know, but he's a good guy. <laughs> He'll tell you. Um, but I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send him your info. He can give you an estimate. He'll probably meet you at the house maybe tomorrow or today or something. Um, he lives close by and he usually moves pretty quick. He sold some condos for me in like under a month and some other houses for me. So I think that's going to be your best bet. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate your answer. Okay. You want me to have him give you a call today? Um, yeah, you can give him, uh, like I said, uh, Larry, right now, I'm just looking, looking, so having a conversation would be a topic. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, brother, I'm sorry about us not being your buyer and what you had to go through before, but I think I think no this realtor not. is going to help you out. I think that's your best bet. I think you want to find okay. a conventional buyer. But all right, brother, yeah. we'll talk soon. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. bye. Um, so that was a cool little call, huh? So that was Lily just telling somebody I'm not your buyer, and I'm sorry. Hey, um... Joyce? I'm speaking. Uh, this is Alec. Uh, you had spoken with my partner, Nancy, a few months ago about your house in Carolina. Um, mm -hmm. Just wanted to follow up, see if you had any interest in selling the house now. No, not right now. No? Because I have someone already. Oh, you already have a buyer for it? Yes, I have one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you already sold it? It's already sold? No, not yet. Oh, okay, you, yet. You, you, you just signed the contract to sell it. Yeah, I signed a contract. Oh, gotcha. Well, congrats on that. How much did you end up selling it for? No, just, um, you know, we discussed it with him, so. Okay. Sounds good. I guess I haven't signed a contract yet. It's just in full right now. Oh, you haven't signed the contract yet? Yeah, I signed a contract. Okay, gotcha. All right, cool. Well, thanks. Have a good one. Good luck with everything. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye. Bro, what the heck? I'm like sitting here trying to look at the comps and my computer just turns off. What? What? Why did my computer just turn off? I'm like, I'm like, oh man, should you sign a contract? Like I'll look at like, cause I, I said this before in other calls, but like I just get on every single wholesaler's lists and then when they get a deal, they send it to me. So I know like if I'm calling a deal that's already under contract and who has it under contract, um, I like doing that a lot, but my computer just randomly turned off. What the heck? And now, what? Now it's turning back on. What? That's so weird. That's so weird. Hello. Hey, Petro. Yeah. Hey, this is Alec. Um, hey, you had spoken with my partner Nancy a few months ago about your house in Margate. Just want to follow up, see if you had any interest in selling that house there still. You were here, my house. Uh, what was that? You, you were in my house a couple of months ago? Um, I don't think so. Okay, we're, so you said that somebody was in my house two months ago? Okay, yeah, no, I don't think we came inside your house, Um, but we would want to. Are you looking to sell the house? I'll sell my house if they give me the right money. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because you spoke with my partner about it, Um, and I think you mentioned maybe awesome. around... Um, I don't think so. Have you had yeah. other buyers come over your house? I had a million people looking at my house, bro. I okay. Mean, I had, this year, I had so many people calling me for to sell my house, I lost count. Oh, man, you've had a lot. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so what were you looking to sell it for now? I'm looking around 400000 400 Okay, gotcha. Because it looks like you told us in the past maybe around like 300 Yeah, that was probably about a year ago. <laughs> I'm not sure. I sold my house... I sold my house for three thirty, and then I decided not to because things something changed in my job, and then I had an offer of three sixty five, and I turned it down. And this was probably two months or more, probably three months ago. So I'm just sitting there. I'm sitting on a three sixty five, which should be up by now more. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to be your buyer at that price, but, um, good luck. And then just out of curiosity, if we did come up to, um, if we did come up to, if we did come up to 400, would you consider selling it on terms? What's that? 
that's terms. Um, where we, we give you the price you want and we make a payment to you every month? Okay, gotcha. All right, brother. Do you, do you have any other Do you have any other properties or land that you're looking to sell? I have a land in the West Coast, a piece of land in the West Coast. That's a lot. Uh, forgot the size. I think it's seventy-five by hundred. What city? What city is it in? I think it's in Punta Gorda. Okay. Area. I like Punta Gorda. I can't remember exactly, but it's in the area that's already all developed. Those houses already there. I just developed. A bank is it under your personal name? Is it? Yeah, it's mine. Okay. Um. Yeah. How much it's were you? Down or out, right? It's paid off and everything. So I just. Are if you? Somebody comes up with the right amount. I'll sell it. How much are you looking to get for that one? I'll try to find it. Uh, about seventy grand. Seventy. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Let me let me look that. Is that but what they're? Listen, it's in a nice area. It's not like uh, a piece of lot in the middle of nowhere. It's close to the beach. Uh, probably five minutes, ten minutes from the beach, something like that. You gotta cross the bridge and you're there. Okay. Um, I'm looking at one. I just looked yeah, it up as we were talking. Is it in? Is it in? Is it? Is it this one in Placida? Uh, Los, yeah, I think so. like near yeah, Port Charlotte. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like the li- the, the lots one, next yeah. to you sold for. Sixteen thousand twenty five thousand. This one yeah, sold yeah, for sixteen. Old... Yeah, people are letting it go. I don't know why they're stupid, but I'm not gonna let it go. Okay, yeah, I mean if we buy it, we buy it. I pay I'm telling you what, I paid fifty grand for this thing. Yeah. Probably ten years ago. Okay, brother. I hey, I don't think I'm if I let it go for less than that, I'd be dumb. Yeah, hey, I don't think I'm gonna be your buyer for either one of these. Um, would you would you want my realtor to reach out to you and maybe he could list on the market for you? No, no, I don't want the realtor to list more stuff. I already did that and it was already gonna cost me enough for the wagon for now. Okay, gotcha. I, I, I just wanna sell to somebody who wants to buy for real and they're going to take it and go. I'm not gonna waste time with the okay. customers and the cash this and that and all the no way. I I already go. I go through the. I, I, I sold the poor houses in my life many times, and I got screwed every single time with real estate and with taxes and and closing fees and this and next. Everybody gets it a size of the cake without doing anything. Okay. All right, brother. Have a good one. Appreciate your time. All right, bye. See, <laughs> so he doesn't hang up. Um. Yeah. I mean, that was a uh, that was a good call. He was just asking way too much. The land, I went over, some, I told him some comps. He wants 70 and then the house, you know, way high. So, okay, so this is a weird lead. Um, obviously, now it's it's a later in the day. That's why I changed my attire. But <laughs> this is a weird lead because this one um, was a cold call lead. Uh, and uh, it was actually a texting lead. And the guy wants... Two hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the house, and it's worth around five hundred. And my caller even offered him like in the four hundreds, and he said, "No, I'm only taking two thirty. So let's see, uh, see what's going on with this. I hope he answers. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. Call me back. Hello. Hello. Hey, Carl. Yes. Okay. Hey, this is Alec. Um, you had spoken with my partner um regarding your house in Jupiter. Yes. Um, and she was saying that you were looking to sell it. I think you guys agreed on price and just getting ready to send over a purchase agreement. Um, this is still something you're looking to sell, right? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, would it would we be able to see the house, or I mean, what what are your plans? Uh huh. She said she was gonna contact me after that. Go from there. Okay. And did we ever get your email address? Uh, I texted her. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to ask her. What What is your email address? Just so I can write it down on my side as well. Um, I'm currently driving right now. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then, are you living in this house? 
on Haney? No. No? Okay. It looks like there's somebody else in the deed. Is that a family member? Yeah. Okay. Is that the person living in the house, or is it just completely vacant? Uh, just completely. Nobody lives there at the moment. Nobody lives there? Okay. And then, sorry, I'm just going through some notes. Um, it looks like you were looking to get 230 for the house? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and where'd you come up with that price? That's just the price you wanted to walk away with? Okay, and it's um okay, cool. Yeah, when when would we be able to see it? Wait, can I make a trip up there and see it? Maybe like th later this week or something. Mm, I have to look at my schedule because I got I told I, I drive like the diesel truck and I drive like state to state. So oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So, Okay, so how would you want to even move forward with this? Would you want to move forward on like a DocuSign then? So it's like convenient for you to just like sign it easily instead of having to meet up with me? Yeah, yeah, this is what I told her and I was waiting on that. But okay. I guess I'll text you my email once I stop. Okay, and then um, is Winter living down here? Um, no, she don't live in Florida. Okay, where does she live? She lives well, in Atlanta. I mean, she don't live in West Palm. She lives in Atlanta. Yeah, she lives in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I was actually just in Atlanta like a month or two ago. So, um, okay, cool. And then, and then, uh, and then she's on the same page to sell it. Like she's. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, what is your relation to Winter? Just out of curiosity. I'm sorry. Say it again. What What is your relation to Winter? Your sister. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And then, was this like your guys like parents' house, or was this always your house? Uh, our house. We, we purchased it together. You guys purchased it? Yeah, because look at like you guys bought it almost, what, like 24 years ago? Yeah. 23 years ago? Something like that. That's crazy. What made you guys want to sell it now after owning it for so long? I want to get rid of it. Yeah, it's just kind of a burden a little bit. Yeah, we was running it out, but we just decided to sell it. Yeah, how was it renting it out? Did you have good tenants? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't sound like they were amazing though. <laughs> yeah, <it's pretty> good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we would probably be looking at doing something like that. You know, if we bought it, we would, you know, maybe put some work into it and then, you know, turn it as a rental or something. Um, does the house need any work done, or is it in pretty much good condition? It's good condition. Um, I tell her, um, I had recently, like, remodeled a couple things. Mm hmm But so everything's in good condition. Everything's in good condition? Okay, cool. Yes. Um, so, I, I guess the next steps here are, um, you know, as soon as you're, 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 you know, in a, not driving, um, you could text yes. me over your email address, and then, yes. um, what we'll do is, my, my partner actually lives up in West Palm Beach, Jupiter area, so I'm gonna have him drive by. If that's okay, um, there's nobody living in the house, right? Yes. Th there is somebody living there. No, nobody. No, no, okay. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my partner drive by. He lives he lives like a little bit closer to like Juno Beach area, I guess. Um, yes. So he's probably maybe 20 minutes or something. Um, so I'm gonna have him drive by. He'll you know just look at it. Won't go on the property. And then um and then if you want to text me your email address, if everything looks good, um how soon were you looking to sell this? How soon were you in winter looking to sell this? Soon as possible. Okay. Everything, the whole process. Yeah. Fast, you guys move, yeah. So typically, what we do is, if everything makes sense, then we we close in thirty days. Um, would yeah. a thirty day closing period be be good for you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do is we'll uh, we'll drive by today, um, and then we'll see how the condition is and everything. And then you could text me your email address, and if everything looks good, then we'll send you over a purchase agreement for you to look over. And then if it looks good, we'll send in a DocuSign. Okay. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Okay, Carl, I appreciate your time. Sorry I, I interrupted your day. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to make sure soon I stop. I'll send you over. Okay, okay perfect. All right, I'm going to send you a text, too, so you have my cell phone. My name is Alec, A-L-E-C, um, and I'll shoot you a text right now. 
Okay, thanks, brother. Have a good one. Thanks. All right, bye. Okay, so that was a fire call. That was a fire call because um, you could see how, like, I was kind of, like, like shit testing him a little bit like this is like who is this who's this you know just trying to figure it out but it sounds like he's actually looking to sell it for 230 and if i buy this for 230 um this is going to be the best real estate deal i've ever done um this would actually be the best real estate deal i've done to date so um yeah let's see let's see uh see how it goes but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that call that was that was a pretty good one i don't know i i he sounded serious like he actually sounded serious but i don't know hello hola hello hello can you hear me a, a quien necesita uh mi espanol espanol habla inglés a cual señor uh mi espanol no es bueno lo siento um uh, yo, uh, to Casa and, uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, 16th Ave. Oh, un momento, un momento. Gracias. What can I do for you? What's up, my friend? Jose, this is Alec. We spoke about a couple months ago. Yeah, but I'm not selling the house. Not yet? Okay, when should I call you back? Uh, six months from now, if things are going right. Okay, where are you, where are you from, Jose? Okay, bye. Alright, gracias. <laughs> that was so awkward. That was like, that was like, that was like the most awkward attempt to build a report. <laughs> hey, hola. Hello. Hey, uh, David? Yeah, how you doing? Man? What's up, brother? How's it going? Hey, I was just curious. I was just curious what you guys ended up doing with the house. Uh, we, we're not going to set it for right now anymore. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think I was going to be your buyer anyways, to be honest with you. You were not going to be able to reach that anyway. No, I wasn't, unfortunately. But, uh, we have an agreement with the, with the rentals and they're, they're going to be paying more rent. And, you know. Oh, perfect. Congrats. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that sounds that sounds great. Um, anything I can do to help? Do you need like a contractor or anything like that? Alright, well, maybe when we're ready to do that. And, uh... Okay. Yeah, let me know if I could refer you anybody. I, you know, I do a lot of projects out in West Park. So if you guys need a contractor, or like a flooring, a window guy, whatever, you know, let me know. Okay. All right. All right, my friend. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you very much anyway. Okay. Hey, Joan. Hey. How are you? How do I sound? You sound, you sound a little bit better. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, okay. Well, hey, um, this is Alec. Uh, we had spoken in the past about your house in Pembroke Pines. Um, just wanted to follow up, see if you were any closer to looking to sell. No, okay. Anything no, that no. anything that I can do to help? I need to see if you have time to do this. No, I don't think you do. Okay. All right, Joan. Well, thanks for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, Anna. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, lady. Hey, Tom. It's Alec. Um, we had spoken. Hello. Yeah. Can you can you hear me? Bye. Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> what? I swear, I was talking. What hey, Tom. You me? Hey, can you hear me? Hello. 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 Hello? 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 
Hello? Tom. 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 Hello? Alright. Do I stay in the phone or do I hang up? I'm gonna stay in the phone. This is a good lead. Hello, Tom? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, man. Hey, sorry about that. What's, can you, what was that? What's that? What can I help you? Yeah, hey, sorry, my phone's been a little glitchy. I don't know why it wasn't working. But, um, yeah, this is Alec. Um, I had spoken with you and Janice regarding the house in Tallahassee. Yes, and the last time we talked, I said, I'm waiting, we're waiting for the judge to sign over. To the, uh, uh, we haven't gotten anything. The courts are, are backed up somewhat. And I have your number, and I will call you when we get that worked out. If we're interested in selling it to you. Okay, perfect. So you just need to wait. Yep, I didn't want to be impatient. I was just curious if you guys needed my help or anything with anything. But nope, it's, got, it's a, got an attorney I'll pay for. Everything's in the work. Papers have all been sent to the court. Uh, but that was about 10 days ago, uh, two weeks. And they haven't, you know, they say it's going to take a while because he's got stacks of stuff on his desk. Oh, my gosh. I can't imagine. Yeah, no worries, Tom. Well, thanks for the update. I appreciate it. And then, hey, when when should I follow back up with you? Because I don't want to keep bugging you. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay, when should I follow back up with you? Because I don't want to keep bugging you. Uh, I don't know. I'll call you like I said. I will. Okay, perfect. You have, my, you have my number? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thanks, brother. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> That's so funny. It's a good thing I stayed on the phone, right? Because he actually answered. It was not my phone that shot. I feel like every other seller is like a shot phone that just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was just like, that was like a couple things on there. Um, you know, it's like, oh, it was my phone. Just to like relieve that tension, it's on me. Um, I like to do that. And then, uh, you know, the follow-up, he's a Southern guy. He got like a little offensive. Why is this guy following up with me? I'll say I'll call him, but... It's all in the follow-up, right? Because I promise you, if you do not follow up with these leads, what happens is he goes, oh yeah, well you didn't call me and I, I couldn't find your number, so I sold it to somebody else, right? Um, so I personally would rather this guy be tired of me. This idiot Alec is calling me again and asking if I'm ready, then not call him. He loses my number because he does not have my number. There's no shot he has it and sells it to somebody else. That's my sales philosophy. So... I'm going to call him again another week and a half. Hey, Victor, it's Alec. Hey, Alec, you survived Colombia. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did, but I'm a little sick now. <laughs> yeah, how was, the, how, was the, how was your experience going to Latin America? It was amazing. That was actually my first time in a third, third world country, um, but it was probably one of the best vacations I've been on. You told me you went to Medellin, no? Uh, yes, yeah, see, sí, Medellin. Yeah, yeah, maybe. very nice place. Very, very nice. nice. Yeah, we were in El Poblado. It was, it was nice. It was um, no no safety issues. We went to the city and and stuff. But man, it was a beautiful city. I I want to go back. I'm probably gonna go back in like maybe March or April. No, oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> do you ever do you ever go to Medellin? Uh, yes, yes. I used to work for Latin America. You know, going through all the countries: uh, Colombia, Venezuela. Oh, nice. To Argentina. So. Where else, did, where else did you like to go? Uh, Brazil. Brazil is a very nice place. I hear Brazil. I, I actually have family in Sao Paulo. Um, oh, yeah, where, where are you from, Alex? So I'm actually German-Brazilian. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm mostly German. Um, but like, I'm Jewish. So a lot of Jews went to Sao Paulo in the 40s. Um, so there's a lot of Jewish pockets there. So I have a lot of like Jewish family there. But I'm not really well connected with them besides like Facebook. But they saw the pictures I posted. They're like, next time you come, you have to go to Sao Paulo. <laughs> no, no, Brazil is a very interesting place. Sao Paulo, the problem with Sao Paulo is that it's so big. Yeah, Sao Paulo so is big. huge. I did not realize it's it was that like, big. And I'm going to use an, an analogy not to offend anyone. It's like 
ant farm. <laughs> so many houses, so many people. It's yeah. incredible. When I tell you, you one thing is saying it, and you say, oh, how many millions of, no, no, it's, it, it looks like an ant farm. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible, incredible. It's just a little sketch, you know, but I would love to go, but if I go, I'd have to go with, like, people that live there. You know what I mean? As an experience, it's very important because, you know, that way, you know, when people talk uh, and you see the news, no, no, I've been there, I know I know the place. Yeah. You know, it's also a really big city. Is talk to your partners? What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we, we were talking. Um, let me just pull up the notes. So you were saying that you wanted 39,000, right? <laughs> Well, I, I told you 40, but, you know, we, we said we can talk. Okay. I told you 40, you said, well, maybe we can do 39. Okay, so we really can't pay more than 39 for this. Um, okay. We're actually not allowed to pay more than 40 um, for these, and we would need a little bit of a margin. So, I mean, 39 is really the highest we can do, um, and that's coming up from the 37 we were originally at. Yeah, no, no, I, and you know that I was very sincere. I was remembering you today. So, well, hopefully he's, he's going to be back next week. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I, I, you, I had that issue with the taxes, which was my my mistake. I yeah. What happened with the 2019, and from $500, it became $2,800. Yeah. You know, penalty of this, penalty of that, and my God, and I, and I, and I complained. The guy said, how can I pay 2020, 2021, and when I'm paying, you don't tell me that I have a bank debt from 2000. <laughs> It's just to collect more money. Yeah, the the county doesn't care, you know. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Um, but yeah. Um, so we we send me send me then put me the paper, send it to me. I'll talk to my wife tonight. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Let me. Is she on the deed? One second. Let me pull it up. Yes, uh, she is. She is. Okay. So, um, I, if you want to text, I'll text you right now. So you have my cell phone number. It's at the top of your, your texting. If you want to text me back your, uh, email address, um, I could write you over a purchase agreement. Um, okay. do you, you, you live in, you live in, you live in Miami? In Pembroke Pines. You're in Pembroke. Okay. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if I told you that before. No, no, no. I, I always tell you we're in, in Cape Coral. No, no, no. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I just make trips out there. So um, if you want, we well, ideally we would want to use a title company actually over here. So you're in Pembroke. Our title company is in Weston. So they're pretty close to you. Um, so that's who will do the actual transaction. Um, if you want, we can meet up and do the paperwork. Um, or I could send it to you guys on DocuSign. Whatever is easier, yeah, it doesn't matter. Send it over, and we can. We we, we certainly. I uh, would love to meet you uh, uh, when we do the deal. That that, that, that will be no issue. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, my wife is very sick. She she cannot leave the house. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. You don't really need uh, coming there. So. Okay, yeah, I don't want to come to the house then and disturb you guys. Um, yeah. So if you, I'll text you if you want to respond with your email address. I'll text you back. A, um, I'll, I'll email you over a purchase agreement and then we can jump on a call tomorrow, go over it, everything looks good. We can probably shoot for like a 20, 30 day close. Let me ask you something else. What else do you do, Alec, besides uh, lots? Um, so lots aren't our priority. Um, okay. We mostly prioritize houses. So we fix and flip houses, uh, we fix and rent houses. Work on a really big project right now in Southwest Ranches. Um, that's going to be like a million dollar fix and flip. Um, but we're not really looking for flipping anymore. We we more so like the holding on to the land and just holding on to the rentals. It's just you know like a place to put money. Sure. And what what's that project in Weston? Uh, Southwest Ranches. Well, what's the project in Southwest Ranches? Yeah, it's a really big house. So it's just a little north. You're in Pembroke, so a little northwest of you. Um, it's, it's only one house? I thought it was a complex of houses. No, no, no. It's just one house, but it's a million-dollar house. So it's it's a huge mansion. Um, and we got it for, I think we got it for around like 550 560 wow. We're going to put around $300,000 into it. And hopefully it's going to be worth around $1.1 1. 1 to $1. 1.2 when we're done. If you ever I wanted to come see it. Um, it's uh, 25, 2,600 square feet. Yeah. If you ever because wanted to come let, see let, it, let, I would love let, to have let you. Me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, um, I, I, I have 4,500 feet in my house. I have a two-story house. Nice. And I want to move to one story. But I haven't found the house because, you know, the prices went too crazy. 
Yeah. Really too crazy. Well, this one is a one-story house. It has an acre lot. Um, yeah, but it's too twenty-five. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be your four thousand square feet. Yeah, no HOA though. I don't know if you have an HOA in in Pembroke. Yeah. A, and how many bedrooms, Sonic? Um, it is a three, two, but we're gonna make it into a three, two with an office. Okay, no, no, I, I need at least four. I need five rooms at least. Yeah, it's not gonna have five. Well, we will have a loft. We're adding a loft, but I don't know if that's really a bedroom. Um, I'll I'll send you the address if you want. You could uh you could look at it. Um, send if you ever. Send me pictures to him. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely send you pictures as well. If you ever wanted to check it out, you know, I'd love to have you look at it. It's probably a few months out from being done. I think December was when we're going to be done with it. But yeah. It's gonna... The problem is that you already told me how much you pay. I'm going to be a hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, beat me down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, brother, I'll text you the address and then I'll text you um, if you want to type, if you want to send me your email address. You have good chemistry with people. You have been very consistent with me. You, we haven't met. You know, you have been very understanding. Let me ask you something. The, the problem with um, with uh, because you know, if if the house is interesting to me, you know, you're renovating. The problem with renovation nowadays is that uh, you cannot find people. People don't want to work. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. Um, there's still a lot of good contractors out there. Um, I think they want they want too much money. Yeah, a lot of people you want know, a lot of money. Yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, I, I I I like to fix things myself because sometimes you know you call somebody, hey, can you put me a light fix? Oh, give me two hundred dollars. What do you mean two hundred dollars to put yeah. the wheels just cruise? Because they see the size of the house and say, oh, this guy they they could, they could they could they run with it. Yeah. Hey, let's paint this wall. No, give me five hundred. I don't have five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Weekend. Yeah. It's, it's absurd. Yeah. It's absurd. Yeah. No, that's definitely. Uh... Okay, send me the same. I'll send it's you the email. Send me the send me the information. Okay. Okay, brother. Okay, I'll you? I'll send you right now. Thank you. Man. All right. Cool. Have a good one. All right, Andrew. Yes. Hey, this is Alec. Um, hey, you had spoken with my partner uh, Nancy uh, regarding your house uh, in Tallahassee and Susanna. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, she was telling me a little bit about it. Uh, I was trying to put together an offer because um, she was saying that you might be looking to sell it here. Um, is this still something you were looking to sell? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Okay. And she also mentioned to me, I think you were looking for 200 Is that correct? That is what I'm going to go get it listed as. Okay, you're going to list it on the market at 200 Yes, but I'm not there yet. I have a few things I want to do to the house before I get that far. Okay, sounds good. What are you going to be doing to the house? Uh, I wanted to put some paint on it, put in new carpet, and uh, just little things. Oh, okay. Clean out the gutters. <laughs> no, th yeah, that makes sense. So what do you think? Maybe you're going to put like 10, 15 into it or less than that? I think about maybe 10 at most. 10? Okay, gotcha. And then you're going to list on the market at 200 after it's done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we would be a buyer. Um, I'm not a realtor, so I'm not, you know, calling for, for a listing or anything. Um, right. So, you know, we would be a cash buyer. Um, are you going to be interested in selling it like as is or you definitely want to fix it up and sell it on the MLS? I would be interested in selling it <clears> as <throat> is, but as I said to your partner, I'm aiming to get close to that number. Okay, sure. So, um, you know, if you were to get 200, you're probably looking at putting 10 into it. And then with realtor commissions and closing costs, that's usually around like 8%. So that's like 16,000 plus the 10. So you're maybe looking to make around like 170. Does that sound about right? No, yeah, that sounds about right in my book. Okay, got gotcha. 30,000 for everything. Uh, yeah including the cost of realtor, what have you, what have you. you know. Sure, yeah, because you have to pay the 3%. Uh, and, mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a uh, mortgage on it as I'm not hiding, and that's going to be, eh, what? I'll call that 80. 80 ish. Okay. Work. So you're, you're yeah. so you're looking to, on the, on the, you're looking to gross on the house around 170 and then pay off net. the mortgage. Net, sorry, net. All right, gross 200, yeah. net 170. Um, and then after the mortgage, probably, you know, in your pocket around 90 ish, right? Ish. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, okay. So, I mean, if we were to come with a cash offer, I mean, where would we have to be? Would we have to come up to like 170? Or, I mean, would you work with us a little bit I, on that? I would work 170. I would definitely work with you on. Okay. Uh, I'm not, you know, because I understand, as you've just done my calculus for me, if I'm cutting out the realtor's commission, mm -hmm. closing, and the 10 grand I'm probably going to put into fixing it up. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, I can understand saying, hey, if I'm coming off of that, am I willing to come off of that for you because of, yeah, I'm willing to do that kind of a negotiation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me but see. Let I've me see if my partner. Another company who, mm -hmm. uh, made a cash offer and they're like yeah well we uh, we'd offer you a hundred yeah okay thanks Don't oh yeah me. you always get those offers you know <laughs> you always yeah. get those offers yeah um but okay i mean and then is the house in you know fair condition like does it need work done because obviously i haven't seen the inside of it it needs well what it needs to be clean cleaned um uh, it needs new carpet um because it only has carpet in three rooms. Two of those rooms, my cat tore up. So, in the process of remodeling my current house, uh -huh. I talked to the carpet people, and they're willing to cut me a deal on cheap carpet. So. Other than okay that, well the carpet I mean, typically when we when we do a house we just get rid of carpet you know carpet isn't as is, is in high demand nowadays um what about like the big ticket yeah. items like the uh you know the kitchen bathrooms kitchen was last refurbished with uh when we bought the house in 2012 uh okay refrigerator is brand well i say brand new but Kitchen, the refrigerator, which purchased oh, cool. at the start of COVID with the Trump money. Um, nice stimulus money. What? Stimulus money. The Trump. Yeah, the stimulus money. Yeah, Trump bucks. It, I, that's what I call it. Cause yeah. <laughs> it was. We got our uh, tax refund that year, and my washing machine died. Oh my so gosh. So we took our tax money, and we bought a new washer dryer. Then. Two weeks later, you know, the stimulus money comes out, and <laughs> we have an electrical storm. You know, it's Tallahassee, right? Thunderstorm uh -huh. comes in, fries the oh my computer God, my, on my dying. the uh, my dying when this refrigerator. We talked to stuff. the refrigerator repairman. He's like, listen, I can replace the computer. <sighs> It'll be about $100 cheaper than a whole brand new refrigerator. Mm. That money came in, so we just went on here for No, that was convenient. Okay, so um, the house probably needs some some upgrading then. So, I mean, if you were going to sell for like 200 it sounds like you'd probably have to upgrade the kitchen and bathroom. So maybe you'd have to put a little bit more than 10000 into it. Because two, 200 would be like the market value of it, right? Yeah, well, where I'm getting the 200 from is uh, the houses on either side of us. One went for 230 the other went for 250 <laughs> Okay, because so, I see one here that went for two eighteen, um, but this or, one was fully renovated. Um, there's not a lot of comps in this little pocket, to be honest with you. You have to go a little bit further out, but I see, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Um, or I'm sorry, two eighteen and two thirty. Yeah, but the, the but those ones were about. in fully renovated condition. So I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to like you know beat you down or anything, but um, typically you know. I, I would I would budget a little bit more than that um, if you were to do it. I'm not you know trying to say like oh this is why our offer might be a little bit lower, but just in my experience, no, it's, um, it's business negotiation. You're not offending me. Yeah. Okay. So I mean I would I would probably say if it's in you know fair condition, it's a 1,200 square foot house, which is is a decent sized house. Um, I would I would I would budget around thirty dollars a square foot, um, maybe mm -hmm. even forty. So I would say maybe you're looking at in the 30, 30 to 40 thousand dollars in like a renovation to get that that market value that you're looking to get. So I just did a thirty thousand dollar renovation on our other house, so I'm my understanding I would disagree with that. Yeah, no, totally, and I haven't even seen the house, so I could be completely wrong. Yeah, well, like I said, to me, it mainly needs cleaning. Yep. Yeah. Um, hey, when, when could I actually see the house? Uh, maybe my partner and I could uh, swing by or my partner could swing by or I could swing by. 
Well, it's semi lived in, so you got to understand that. Oh, it's not going to be vacant. It's not vacant. Okay, are you are you you're not living there, are you? Yes, we are. Oh, you are living there. I thought you had another house. We do. We just uh, finally made the move over into that house Saturday. So oh, congrats. we're still moving things over. And that's the one at um, 4808? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so when are you guys going to be officially moved out? Um, and when were you looking would, to sell it? I would tell you, give us a month for official move out. Now, if you're telling me that you're... Uh, because then again, you could say we're officially moved out right now because <laughs> we're sleeping and living at the other place now. Sure, sure. I understand. There, there's, you know, there's stuff that needs to be moved and it's, you know, you can kind of go at it your own pace. So I, I get that. Um, yeah. We, the other house doesn't have a mortgage on it. Nice. That's always uh, so, nice. That's always nice to, yeah. to not have, you know. <laughs> Yeah, um, and we just did about 40000 in reno on it. That's perfect. why when you say that, I was like, yeah, I got a very good idea. Of yeah, yeah, you would know it better than me. You would know it better than me. Um, okay, so um, I can follow back up with you, I guess, later on, you know, when you're closer I, to that selling point, or does it make sense for us to give you an offer, like, sooner than that? If you wanna, If you want it sooner to give you more time to work it up or hopefully catch the market before it goes south, you know, that's fine. Just we need to schedule when you want to come by so someone will be there. Because as of right now, it's locked up. I have my ring doorbell camera on it and such watching it. No, as and you we're should. we're going by it daily. As you should, as you should. Um, yeah, so let me let me talk to my partner and, uh, you know, see what he says when I let him know about the 170. Who is your partner? Um, so we have a few different partners. So you spoke with one um nancy yep. and then we have another partner so it's him and i who really decide on like the purchasing um so nancy yeah. more so handles like the phone calls and then him and i kind of okay. handle the purchasing um i actually recently moved down to fort lauderdale um like near miami yep. so that's why i might have a 954 number because i switched it but um i do that's call right. up to tallahassee and uh, my partner lives in tallahassee so okay that's that's fine uh because then your partner has an idea of where we're at, and it's a nice little area. Yeah, yeah, we we, we own a bunch of other houses um, throughout Tallahassee. Um, this one's a little right. further, um, uh, further north. north. Yeah, but um, yeah. that's completely fine. We we have you know some near like San Luis, you know that the park there. Um, yep. So it's just a little further up, but it's not a bad area. Um, you know, there's like a Publix up there and stuff. I'm pretty sure. So yes, there is. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I will say the crawl space is fully encapsulated with okay. the sump pump. Okay. <clears throat> so let me, let me, so let me run some numbers here. Um, and then would 170 be the best price you guys would do? I mean, would you work with us if we gave you like just a cash offer and, you know, worked on your closing date and everything? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm amenable to negotiation. Okay. Now, I mean, admittedly, there's a bottom number, and obviously, I'm not going to tell you that if you hit, I'm just going to say that's nice totally. Go away yeah, you yeah, I I completely understand. I'm the same exact way when I do negotiations. Um, I know right. you had the other offer for a hundred, which was obviously way too low. Um, one seventy yes. is kind of like a realistic number. You know, would have to be uh, right. so. Um, I'll try to be close. Gonna, I'm obviously going to tell you I start at two hundred. Right. But that being said. If you come back and say 170, I'm listening. I'm willing to work with you. <laughs> totally. I appreciate that. But, okay. But we're not, uh, <laughs> you're getting closer to my bottom, re- bottom end. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Have a good idea of where it's at. Absolutely, absolutely. So. All right, my friend. Well, thank you for your time. Um, I you, will run some numbers, and then hopefully I can be in touch with you today's Thursday, uh, maybe tomorrow or like Monday or something. Uh, go for Monday. Uh, we've got a uh, Cub Scout event this week. Oh, weekend, yeah. I don't want to interrupt. I will be in the middle of the woods. So I won't <laughs> yeah, be able to yeah. All right. Next week we'll talk. All right. Have Thank a good you. weekend. Good luck at your Cub Scout. Thank you. All Take right. Care. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, that was a good call because that was like a live negotiation. Um, and that's really the difference between like me getting on the phone 
and my like maybe my my cold callers or lead managers where they wouldn't per se be able to have that negotiation right where it's like oh 200 okay that's what you're listing for but you're gonna put in work okay ten thousand but then closing costs okay that's twenty six thousand so maybe you're looking at that around one th- 170 not 200 yeah that sounds realistic okay and then you know budget for other things so maybe like 160 <coughs> i'm sorry i am so sick i came back i came back from columbia and i'm like dying i'm like dying kind of like COVID or something <laughs> I don't know, but that was a good call. All right, all right, we got the outro. We got the outro. I hope you enjoyed this call session. Um, we got some good calls in there. Um, I also did something kind of big, and I got this like this like black thing, and it like blocks out the light. So like I think the lighting is just like a lot better now. Clear, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe not. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of happy about that. So yeah, this is the outro.